solo. Todo tiene que entrar es lento. Este no viste, no es ese que este sí buen cholo, ve no con. back and thank you so much for watching that that was hiking 11 days in Peru um, doing the Waiwash circuit trek um, in northern Peru and I did this as part of a group hiking trip that was organized by youtuber Craig Adams uh, he has a very wonderful video that he's already put out um, about the same the same trip and that goes into more details on the day-to-day -day, as well as some of the logistics and uh, he also has an all trails map uh, if you're interested in doing this hike yourself uh, which, I, which I highly recommend but um, I'm going to focus on talking about some of the photography that I did I brought with me a Hasselblad 501 CM film camera and one lens the Zeiss 180 millimeter sonar um, that's my, my favorite optical formula, and it's a spectacular lens. It's equivalent to roughly a hundred millimeters on normal full frame cameras. Uh, so it's a little bit telephoto, and not necessarily what people gravitate towards for landscapes, but I think it offers a really unique perspective, and I think that it helped to record some of the rocky details in the Peruvian Andes very well. Um, I uh, was able to print several of the negatives that I, I made in the dark room, uh, as you're watching me do right now. Um, and I have a website which I will link below. And there's 15 negatives that I think are worth printing, and they will be for sale. They will all be limited to editions of 50. Um, so once they're gone, they're gone. But uh, those prints, I think, are really special and they're, they're all handmade. Um, so, after you're done watching this, definitely please, please go check, check them out if, if you're interested. Uh, but now I'll talk a little bit more about the, the process of, of making those images. I brought with me a load of film. Um, 
Most of it was black and white. I did bring a little bit of color, but for the black and white, I brought Kodak Tri-X and Fujifilm Acros 2. Um, I like both of those films a great deal. The Acros has a very fine grain and a very nice contrast. Um, and the Tri-X is, is a classic emulsion um, with a much more prominent grain that I actually think works very well for landscapes because it adds a little bit of texture and I think that complements especially the rocky landscapes of the mountains very well. Um, the color film I shot was Fujifilm Pro 160 NS. Unfortunately, it's discontinued now. It's my favorite color negative film. But I, I just shot two rolls of those and uh, uh, had a load of fun doing that. But uh, yeah, I self-develop all of my film. Uh, the black and white was developed in Rodinol 1 to 50. Um, I, I've tried so many developers in the past and that one is the one that works and gives me the results that I'm looking for. Um, so I printed everything on fiber-based paper. I, I use Ilford fiber-based paper and uh, yeah, I think the results are really cool. I have a, a negative carrier that's hollowed out a little bit so I get a little bit of the border uh, to bleed around the edges of the image. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a cool effect, but uh, like I said, you can check out some of the, the images on, the, on, my, on my website, um, and yeah, this is my, my first time making a, a YouTube video. Um, I hope that, hope that I'm, I'm doing it right, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching.